Well, thank you so much, Mark. Thank you for the very kind introduction and maybe more importantly for the leaps forward that you and Lion Electric are taking right here in Joliet and uh, taking the state of Illinois on. Uh, this is now home, as all of you heard, to the largest all-electric manufacturing plant of buses and commercial vehicles of this size in the entire United States. And that really is something to celebrate. I want to express my gratitude to uh, County Chair Bertino Tarrant, to Mayor Darcy, uh, to the many local officials, economic development, and elected officials, too, uh, who made today's announcement possible. Now, yesterday, I returned home from taking an Illinois delegation overseas where companies from multiple countries gathered together to discuss trade and investment in our state to advance our electric vehicle and clean energy future. We discussed a lot more than that, but that was the first half of the trip entirely. The state of Illinois is putting itself on the map internationally, and the world is taking notice. So it's altogether fitting and pride-worthy to celebrate today with this fantastic milestone from one of the most innovative zero emission vehicle manufacturers in the world, Lion Electric. This new facility delivers a tremendous boost for Illinois' clean energy economy and our environmental leadership too. The number of jobs that are being created by Lion Electric has nearly doubled to 1,400 just since the announcement of its investment two years ago. And this is now the first new dedicated vehicle assembly plant to be built in the metropolitan Chicago area in over 50 years. Will County and the city of Joliet have such a rich history in manufacturing. And with our state's investments in EVs and in clean energy, we're ensuring building on that rich history here, creating jobs and opportunity for decades to come. Across the state, we've built incentives and provided grants for site upgrades. We've built out workforce development and community support programs. Just yesterday, we put out a call for applications to establish 13 regional CEJA, that's the Climate and Equitable Jobs Act, CEJA workforce hubs, at least one of which will be located near Joliet. And we're incentivizing more electricity production under CEJA in a state that is already a net energy exporter. So I, I know that we have some young people here in the audience with us today uh, from ComEd's After School Matters program and from the Boys and Girls Clubs of Chicago. And you know better than anyone else that this is about more than just cars on the road. Uh, it's also about making sure that we have the buses, the uh, community experience of the new clean energy economy. Because while, and all of that is very important, it's predicated on having a planet that's environmentally sustainable for your generation and beyond. What Lion Electric is doing here in Joliet, what we're replicating all across the state of Illinois, is a real step forward in keeping this planet working for you and creating jobs for your future. And we're just getting started. A whole host of folks have played a role in the progress that we've made already. First and foremost, I, I do want to recognize again Mark Bedard and the Lion Electric team, all the folks who work here who really are making a difference. And of course, all the entrepreneurs who are staking out their claim in this industry in Illinois. I also want to recognize my partners in the legislature. I won't read all the names, but we have quite a number who are here with us today who've been partners in this endeavor. Uh, they helped us pass clean energy legislation, the Reimagine Electric Vehicles Act, as well as uh, working with us on legislation that we'll be introducing in the coming legislative term as well. I want to also thank the local legislative, sorry, the local leaders who have championed Illinois' uh, workforce as it deserves to be championed. And of course, our federal delegation, led by Senator 
uh, Dick Durbin and Tammy Duckworth. I want to thank them and your Congresswoman uh, Underwood, who has done such a terrific job, all three of them championing uh, our state and paving its way into the future. I've left names off this list, and I don't want to forget them, but I do want you all to know that we all are working together for this uh, wonderful future that I think will have a, not only a better planet for all of us, but a, a better opportunity for everybody in the state of Illinois. So to our friends at Lion Electric, welcome to the land of Lincoln. And we want you to know how much pride we take in you being here. You are our newest, our great new corporate citizen of Illinois. So thank you, and with that, I am proud to introduce our senior United States Senator and a champion of our electric vehicle future, Senator Dick Durbin. Bienvenue. Aujourd'hui, nous rougions ensemble comme des lions. What I think, what I think I just said was welcome. Today, we come together to roar like lions. I want to welcome our host, Lion Electric, for being part of this amazing and historic occasion. Special thanks to Mark Bedard, who not only believed in the concept of this company, but believed in the land of Lincoln and the state of Illinois. We thank you so much for that vote of confidence. <laughs> Special thanks to Governor Pritzker. His determination to bring new businesses and jobs on the cutting edge of the American economy has benefited Illinois from Cairo to Zion including Joliet today. I want to thank him personally and his staff and the members of the General Assembly for the state's contribution to the launch of this great effort. I want to add as well, on behalf of the congressional delegation, that this was a joint federal, state, and local venture. And that, I think, is one of the reasons for its success. Why are we concerned about school buses? Our nation's school bus fleet is the large, largest form of public transportation and one of our heaviest polluters in America. The emissions from diesel school buses have long contributed to lung conditions in children, including asthma. Each year, diesel buses emit millions of tons of greenhouse gases into our atmosphere. If you've been outside this summer, you know that's a problem. According to the World Meteorological Organization, this June, this past June, was the hottest June on record in modern history. July has included three of the hottest days ever recorded in the modern history of our planet. The climate crisis is not on its way, it is here. Fortunately, thanks to legislation like the bipartisan infrastructure law in Washington, passed by Congress and signed by President Biden, we are beginning to address the health and climate implications of diesel guzzling machines. In 2021, my colleagues in Congress, including all of those here today, came together to pass this law on a bipartisan basis. The bipartisan infrastructure law funded many important efforts, but one of the most forward thinking is the clean school bus program it established under the EPA. This program is a $5 billion down payment on replacing diesel buses with clean alternatives like those we see today at Lion Electric. It's in, in the first round of funding, the Clean Bus School Program provided Illinois school districts with more than $48 million to replace their buses. The result, more than 100 new electric buses will be coming to our state, all of them committed to, to bearing, bearing emissions-free buses. And if that weren't enough, thanks to Lion, we can say that many of those buses will be built right here in Joliet. In fact, as we learned today, this plant could soon be producing as many as 20,000 vehicles per year. What an amazing number. Because of this clean school bus program, thousands of Illinois-made buses will be taking kids to school across America. And none of these kids will have to breathe diesel fumes on that ride. This is a remarkable achievement.
What other benefits? How about 1,400 great jobs in the state of Illinois? People will come to work in this plant for many years to come. Illinois has a long history of auto manufacturing, but as Mark Bedard and Governor Pritzker mentioned, it's been more than half a century since we've seen a new venture like this. It's time for us to prove once again Illinois is the right state to do business in. I want to thank all those who are gathered here today. I thank my friends in the federal delegation for doing our part. Thank President Biden for signing that bill and introduce my dear friend and one lion-hearted senator, Tammy Duckworth. Well, good morning. It's uh, always a great day when we get to uh, launch an initiative as this, although it looks like you've already been hard at work. Thank you, Senator Durbin and Governor Pritzker. It's great to be here with you, especially um, to celebrate not just Line Electric, but the future of manufacturing in Illinois. You know, as, as one of your senators, it's been, been one of my top priorities to elevate Illinois on the national and global stage uh, in terms of its being uniquely prepared for greater investment and ready to help bring not just our state, but our nation into a greener future. Uh, I've met with Canadian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Melanie Jolie. I've discussed with her uh, all the work that Lion Electric is doing and the opportunities for future investments. I've traveled to um, countries like Taiwan and Japan uh, where they want to come and invest in Illinois because we are so strong in all the different forms of that green energy future because it is profitable for them. Not just because it's good for the earth, which is what my five and my eight year old care most deeply about, but it's also because it is profitable and it makes sense economically and we can lead the nation and the world in this. Um, at the federal level, uh, Senator Durbin and I, thanks to leadership from the Biden administration, we're able to secure significant support to help our country move forward towards that green energy future. You've heard about the bipartisan infrastructure law. We also had the Inflation Reduction Act and the Chips and Science Act all together really helped position our nation to move into the future. But I will tell you that we here in Illinois would not have been able to take advantage of those federal pieces of legislation as they were passed were it not for the hard work of Governor Pritzker and his team. The fact that he was already sitting down with Lion Electric in 2021, making deals and structuring a program so that we could have this wonderful facility here, even as the laws were being passed, shows you that he was laying the groundwork, that our state legislators were laying the groundwork so that when those federal dollars, that spigot was turned on, Illinois was at the front of the line, ready to go, ready to take advantage of it, and that's how we got those, those jobs here in Joliet today. So there, there's two critical provisions in the infrastructure law um, that's helping make the work here at Line Electric possible. One is the over $62 billion through the Department of Energy to support clean energy. And second, the law also created the EPA's new Clean School Bus Program, which, as Dick has mentioned, will replace all of our nation's school buses with electric school buses. Supporting green energy, supporting green manufacturing benefits us all in so many ways, and I'm just so pleased to welcome Lion Electric here to Illinois. We are, uh, at your federal delegation, committed to um, advancing Illinois, and we're very lucky in that um, we have with us uh, Senator Durbin, who is the majority whip. You need to know that the reason the bipartisan infrastructure law was passed was because he was there hard at, hard at work every single day. We have the only physicist in the United States Congress in Bill Foster, so that we can always go to him and say, Bill, does this make sense? And as much as I try to understand Bill when he tries to explain to me why it makes sense, sometimes I don't get everything he's saying. Um, and I just sat down and then talked at length with Lauren Underwood about what we can do next for Joliet and this area. So know that we're working together, we're working locally as well, and we're gonna continue to make these investments. Illinois is already well on her way to being the nation's leader when it comes to green manufacturing. Now we're gonna take it to the next level and be a global leader as well. Thank you everyone and welcome, Lion Electric. It's now my great pleasure to introduce my good friend, Senator, uh, Congressman, ooh, Congresswoman Lauren Underwood.
Well, good morning. It is my true pleasure to be with all of you today. As many of you know, I'm Representative Lauren Underwood, and I have the honor of representing the city of Joliet as part of Illinois' 14th Congressional District. Thank you to Lion Electric for welcoming us back here so warmly today, and I'm so pleased to be joining Administrator Deborah Shore, Governor Pritzker, Senators Durbin and Duckworth, and my colleague, uh, Congressman Foster, uh, Mayor Darcy, and members of our community to celebrate this incredible grand opening here at Lion Electric today. Now, I have great memories with Lion Electric. Last year, Secretary Pete Buttigieg and my youth transportation advisor, a third grader named Rowan, joined me on one of these incredible buses, and we discussed how clean energy investments from the bipartisan infrastructure law will pave the way for a brighter future for kids like Rowan. Rowan's excitement that day fueled my belief that a commitment to clean energy infrastructure is a commitment to the future for our children. Rowan and every child deserve to breathe clean air. The bipartisan infrastructure law delivers historic investments in our clean energy infrastructure, including $5 billion for manufacturers like Lion Electric to expand our country's fleet of electric school buses. We invested in facilities like these because the technology being developed here will help make sure that kids like Rowan can breathe clean air. Clean energy infrastructure is critical to making that possible. And replacing diesel vehicles with electric buses is one way that we can reduce the pollution in the air for the more than 25 million children and thousands of school bus drivers who breathe polluted air on their rides to and from school. This grand opening is so very special, and I am just beaming with pride that this important work is being done right here in Joliet. We are on track to make sure that our transportation is cleaner than ever before, and this is just the beginning. So thank you all so much for being here today, and now I'd like to welcome up my colleague, Congressman Bill Foster. Well, thank you all for being here today. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Congressman Bill Foster. I guess I'm best known as being the only PhD scientist in Congress. But I'm also, for the most of the last 10 years, represented Joliet as part of the 11th Congressional District of Illinois. And although the, the maps have changed, I've left a big part of my heart in Joliet, and that part will never leave. Um, I'd, and as a scientist, I also want to just give you the answer to something that's been bothering me for a long time, which is if you look at the name of, of the company, Lion Electric, uh, there are two possible meanings for that. The first one for the, you know, the powerful and graceful animal, but, or it could represent lithium ion. All right, the, the battery technology that underlies this and makes it all possible, a big part of which was actually uh, developed at Argonne National Labs, which is something we should be proud of forever here. And, and so Mark, Mark has given me the answer to that question, which is it started out with Lion and it's come to mean both. So that's the, um, and you know, I'm, I'm also a businessman. And if you're a businessman, a manufacturing businessman, there are three points that you just remember for the rest of your life. And the first time is that moment when you had the idea for the product. And you say, you know, we could actually do this and there it should be a market for it if we thought it right. Then there's a second moment when you, you, know, you finally, you get your first prototype to work. And you get, then you get your first contract and you build your factory. And then there's the magic moment when the first item rolls off the, the production line. And that's another moment that will stay with you forever. And it's something where you and every worker that made it possible um, should just be proud of forever. And so I'm, I'm proud to be here with you to celebrate that moment. Thank you all. 